Aloha, good morning, and welcome back to the channel. We're looking back at this truck again today, and what we're doing is trying to pull out some of the door dings. This truck is 10 years old. It's undergone several thousand parking lots of careless people that throw open their doors and ding my truck. So that being said, we're gonna be trying to pull out some of these door dings using a $20 dent puller purchased on Amazon. So one, we're gonna see if it even works. Two, I'm crossing my fingers it does. But three, we have no expectations of it. But I wanna see and test if these things that advertise they can pull out dents, if they really can. Before we begin that video, I haven't seen the beach in a very long time. So here's a quick montage of that fun. Speak of the devil. Hit her, make her learn. And we'll get back to it. Reviewing real quick what is included in that $20 kit. It's a Pops a Dent bridge puller kit. It comes with the bridge, the structure to pull the dent. Also comes with five pads ranging from the size of about a dime going up to the size of about a 50 cent piece. Also comes with more glue than you can ever imagine or ever need. Uh, you have five black colored glue sticks as well as five clear and also a very chinese made glue gun again this is a budget friendly dent puller kit so i really can't complain as, as far as you know the build quality of these it's a very very cheap looking kit but we're going to see how it performs before we begin we got to clean the truck off it's been a few weeks uh, since i cleaned it last and it's rained a few times so we're going to clean the truck quick and then we'll get to pulling these dents Just like that, the truck's turned around. The lighting was terrible going the other way, so we went ahead and flipped the truck around for sake of the video, so we should be good to go now. The truck had a basic wash just to remove some of that surface dirt, and we should be able to work with the surface a little bit better now. We're gonna work on the passenger side to begin with. There's a few door dings I'm really hoping we can do something about. Again, this is a $20 dent puller kit. Not too optimistic about it, but I really wanna see what we can do for something like $20. Okay, so we're here on the passenger side showing kind of a before. This door ding right here, you can kind of see it reflected right now on that wheel. That's where we're gonna start. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that dent puller kit, stick it there, pull it, and really cross my fingers, I can do something about that. To begin, I'm working in this area right here. So at the corner of that glorious Texas flag, you can see in the reflection, is that large door ding. And the kit, again, comes with a real cheap glue gun, but it works just fine. Five different sizes of those glue pads. So sizing up the dent itself, it's a real small, very small dent. 
um, actually smaller than even the size of a dime. So we're going to use the smallest one that it comes with and we're going to apply some hot glue to it. And once the hot glue is applied, we're going to stick it in the center of that dent, wait two to three minutes, let it dry, and once it dries, we hook up that bridge dent puller and try to pop it out. So we'll go ahead and try it out. So you hold it in place till it somewhat sets. And once it sets, let it dry for two or three minutes. And then once that's dry, we'll go and hook up the bridge. All right, so it's been about three minutes. We'll go ahead and see what kind of results we get. So first off, we take that bridge. You're going to bridge it across the body just above that dent. You're going to take this screw. And you're going to screw on the threads above that pad. And then you're just going to basically turn it real slow as it gets tighter and tighter. And it just, used that, it just uses that adhesiveness from the glue to pull up on the dent. Which is most likely going to lead to that. So as you can see, very little results, um, but that's not a surprise. So this kit is a not a one time done type of deal. It's you do it over and over and over and apparently the dent gets better and better and better. And when I mean better, I mean it goes away. So we're gonna go ahead and keep doing this. The key is to be patient. The kit does take a while. They recommend, you know, 30 to 45 minutes per dent. So the key is to be patient. And the key is to be patient with these. Be patient with it. This is gonna be stupid glue. Damn it, you piece of sh Damn it. Piece of shit. I'm an extremely patient person, so this should be just fine. really hard to get a strong enough pull. What I really don't like about this bridge kit, and you can see what I'm about to say here, is the flimsiness of it. The structural integrity of the bridge itself just gives way every time you start cranking down on it. That is good to a certain point so you don't, you know, damage your mounting points. Just look at it bend. Now just continue to crank down on it, it'll pop up here in a second. But just watching it bend, that's telling me that the dent isn't coming out, isn't coming out, dent isn't coming out. <laughs> the dent isn't coming out, this was bending in. Something to look out for is these surface pads are real soft, but if you kind of put it on the floor where it's dirty or has some dirt and grime, and then you put it on the body of your vehicle and then crank down on it, you will scratch your paint. So make sure the surface of these are clean before you go and apply and pull. We're about 30 minutes into the dent pulling and unfortunately have made nearly no progress from what I can see. So I do have one more trick I'm going to try to utilize and that trick is a heat gun.
Okay, so we've been working on this spot for over an hour now. Uh, we've pulled it dozens and dozens of times, and uh, to be honest, I don't know if it's because I've been staring at it for so long, but it, it does seem a little bit better. It seems like it's pulled out a little bit of that recessed area, but as far as where that door ding was, where that impact was made, it's still indented a lot. So from afar, from short, you do see that recess, you do see that reflective area go in, and I continue to hate it. I hate door dings almost more than anything. But it seems like it did something, so I can't say the kit was useless. We'll do a before and after photograph right now for you to take a look at to see if there's really any difference. So we worked on both sides of the truck. We did a little bit on the driver's side, uh, two or three spots here on the passenger side, and again, at the end of the day, it looks like it pulled it up just a little bit, but it not solved the problem. My so, overall thoughts about this product, unfortunately, are not good. And I mentioned earlier in the video, I wasn't very optimistic about the results from the product by simply seeing the structural integrity of the puller. Taking a closer look here, the structure of the bridge to the dent puller is complete plastic. And as you crank down to pull out this dent, this literally just bends, which is not a good thing. There are dent pullers out there that are made of metal, which if I were to do this again, I would purchase the metal over plastic. So my review of this one is don't waste your time, don't waste your money on it because it does not do anything. As far as the comical glue gun, it, it did what it was supposed to, but also leaked all over my garage floor. Um, again, we have more glue than I will ever need in a lifetime, so that was nice. So I can just put that in storage. As far as the, the pads, the pads worked okay. They stuck and they adhered really well. It comes with a variety of sizes, which was also nice. I was able to use multiple ones throughout the truck. At the end of the day, door dings are door dings. And my worst fear was, you know, door dings will continue to be door dings no matter what I do with it. It is a 10 year old truck. Can't complain too much about a few door dings. It is in great condition. It will continue to be in great condition as long as I park in the back corner of the parking lot and cross my fingers no idiot parks next to me. That's that. That was the dent puller. Conclusion wise, don't waste your money. Don't worry about it. All right, so sneak peek to next week on the channel. We're gonna bring this truck back to life. I have nothing else to do with those glue sticks, so I just threw them. Anyways, what we're doing with the truck is bringing the paint back to life. This truck is 10 years old, as I've mentioned several times. It is a 2007 model Silverado. The paint is 10 years old. The door dings, things like that, it's got 10 years of wear and tear. But what we're gonna do is a paint correction, a full paint correction on this truck next week. As always, thank you for tuning into the channel. If this is your first time stopping in, remember to subscribe. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Aloha, have a great day. I'm gonna join the circus someday. Patient, you need to be a piece of shit.